Dzień dobry państwo, and that's what I know about Polish. Uh, my name is Matej Miška, pleased to meet you, and this is uh, Lucia Strakova. We are here from the uh, Czech Republic, we are the representatives of uh, Creative Commons Czech Republic, and we would like to deliver you today a message of uh, hope, because you've heard quite a lot of uh, presentations today that were a bit skeptic, uh, how does the copyright work, whether it does uh, protect uh, enough or uh, too little, too much. And uh, we would like to present you a Copernican turn in the recent case law of uh, Czech Constitutional Court. So what is our presentation all about? The presentation is all about uh, the right of communication to the public. Uh, that is a special right reserved to author or other right holders of the neighboring rights. That is the right to perform a broadcast uh, in, a, uh, in a premise. Uh, as uh, in many countries in Europe, this right is uh, specially reserved uh, to extended collective licensing and in Czech, Re Czech Republic uh, this specific right uh, even cannot be excluded by the author. That means that the collecting societies are always collecting the right, uh, no, uh, the uh, royalties for this right, no matter uh, whether these, uh, these uh, authors are actually represented or not. Also, this uh, right is subject to the so-called uh, uh, doctrine of potential reception, which means that um, if you have a device in your pub that is able to perform such a broadcast, uh, it is uh, suspected, uh, suspected that it performs. That means that you have to pay. So the standard scenario, as you can see in, the, uh, in this little scheme, is that uh, you have a pub. Uh, this pub is communicating the works protected subject matter to the public. There is an uh, inspection from the collective management organization. It issues a payment order. Uh, you can oppose it and enter a standard uh, civil court proceeding. Uh, then you get a uh, judgment uh, that claims that you have to uh, give out the uh, unjust enrichment. That is the bezpodstavne zbogacenie, if it's all right. So, bezpodstavne zbogacenie. Uh, however, the problem is that the court, usually the lower instances courts, do tend to decide uh, on a really just like a formalistic basis. They do not even search uh, whether the music was actually played there or not. They just see the, some shabby protocol and that it's a problem and uh, they just uh, give uh, right uh, to, the, to the collecting societies. They say that this claim is completely okay. The problem is that you cannot oppose this, uh, oppose this uh, judgment in a, a court of appeals because this is the so-called minor claim. Uh, that means that uh, it is uh, not able to be further contested because uh, the, the limit is about around uh, 1,500 1, uh, zloty. So the only way how to contest it is to file a constitutional complaint. That means that you can you go directly to the uh, constitutional court that is seated in Brno, where we are also seated, and uh, you have to claim that uh, the lower courts have incorrectly evaluated the evidence. Uh, they have arbitrarily applied the standard law, and there was no a, no no possibility to review the law. That means that your uh, fair trial rights, your fundamental rights, was infringed. And Lutska will now introduce you to the two cases uh, that have been decided before the Czech Constitutional Court uh, that uh, show such a development that the Constitutional Court is about to uh, bring some common sense into these disputes. Okay, so uh, we have divided these cases into two groups. The first one is not that much promising because it's like the old one and the next one will be much more bringing hope. So the first case, uh, we have a shop. In this shop, uh, we have one room which is for customers and the second room which is just for employees. In the second room, there was some music playing which, uh, which was heard by the employee and one day the collective management society came and they said they hear the music from the second room but the shop didn't want to pay so they didn't and collective management society uh, bring this case to the court court said that they they are right because uh, there were some forms some uh, evidence uh, of of this of this music playing there and it was signed by the shop uh, 
uh, there was some arguing because the shop said that uh, this form was was uh, there was some information added and uh, in this in this form there are information which are not true but still uh, the court of first instance they said that uh, there was music playing and they had to pay so uh, they mm, the judgment was they have to pay they still didn't agree so they filed a constitutional complaint and constitutional court said that um, in this case there is not not uh, he is not entitled to reassess the evidence which was made by the court of first instance and he is not uh, any kind of appeal court or uh, third instance or something like that so he is not entitled to reassess this evidence so the constitution complaint was refused as unfounded the second case we also have a shop. Uh, this shop is with bicycles and okay, these bicycles. <laughs> uh, shop is bicycles and uh, they are selling bikes and mm, doing some repair uh, repair work. And in this this particular room, there was some music playing, but but only for one employee uh, and the radio which was there was hers and um, it has it didn't have any effect uh, on goods selling there so again collective management came and he said here's music and you have to pay the process was the same they uh, refused to pay. The court of first in instance said that uh, the collective management society was right. They still didn't agree and so they filed a constitution complaint. But in the second case, constitution court said that uh, collective management society didn't bring any evidence because they didn't prove that there was any radio or some machine playing. They didn't um, bring any evidence that it has any effect, uh, any economic effect uh, for selling goods. And so they, in the end, they said the constitutional complaint is right and the first, first instance uh, judgment was rejected. So, if we have to sum it up a bit, uh, these decisions, at least the last one, was quite heavily criticized, surprise, surprise, by the collective management societies, because they claimed this is a wee bit of an activism and populism by the court, because it's very easy to bash the collective societies, because they are the evil ones. Uh, however, they claimed that uh, the constitutional court, as such, should not be the one who is deciding, and this is quite, from a legal point of view, a very interesting story, uh, the court of uh, constitutional court shouldn't be deciding whether this music has actually some effect uh, on selling goods or not. The thing is, uh, the, 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 so say, so the takeaway from these cases is that we have, in the Czech Republic, after 25 years from the World Water Revolution, we have moved from some shabby evidence that was based only on one protocol uh, from some inspection. We have moved to like a complete, full, fair trial where the collective societies uh, have to prove that there is a device that is able to play the music, uh, that the music is played by the represented authors, and also that uh, the music, that there's not only there is a device, but there's the device is also actually playing the music. So uh, this will move uh, probably the inspection into, and the collective societies are entitled to do so, uh, into more wider re video re recording. The problem is, and we are now really uh, happy and waiting for uh, new decisions, uh, whether there will the Creative Commons licenses come in play. The problem is when, uh, with uh, Creative Commons licenses, this was also used by the Pirate Party, that you could play uh, free music. Uh, the problem is, uh, or the music libre, the problem is that the Creative Commons licenses are exactly uh, not 
excludable from the extended collective licensing scheme. And in all of the cases where they have used this defense, the collective managers were able to prove that they were not playing only Creative Commons licensed music, but also music of the represented authors. So we are now waiting what will the future uh, bring, and uh, hopefully next year on CopyCamp we will be able to present you some new case law. And that's all we get. Dzięki za uwaga. Dziękujemy. Uh, thank you. Dziękujemy bardzo.